So they took Dr. Beans and two other men prisoner. They let the other two men go, but they, for some reason, decided they were, they were keeping Dr. Bean. So they put him on their ships, and then the British left, and they sailed up toward Baltimore. He was a family friend of Bean's, and he was prevailed upon to help arrange the release. Now, prisoner exchanges and prisoner releases were common in the War of 1812. So we had a few Brit British prisoners here, and what happened was we prevailed upon the British uh, the officer in charge to get letters from the British prisoners saying how well they were treated, and they were treated well. So Key went up to Baltimore, he rode on his horse up about 35 miles to Baltimore with orders and with the letters from British prisoners saying, you know, these Americans are okay, they let us eat more than bread and water. That's not a direct quote, but they were positive letters. And um, he was met in Baltimore by a man named John Skinner, and Skinner was um, a lawyer like he, what was actually, he was sort of working for the State Department but had the rank of colonel in the army. And he had helped arrange prisoner exchanges as well. So Key rode up to Baltimore, he met up with Skinner, they got on an American ship and they began looking for the British fleet. And they found them. And the British welcomed them on board, they, they did these things all the time, they had dinner, they drank wine, and they negotiated the release of Dr. Beans. We believe it was the letters that did the trick. And they said, okay, you can go, uh, but wait, we're gonna bomb Baltimore back to the Stone Age, so you can't leave until then. So they took Skinner, Beans, and Key, and put them on another British ship, and then they moved, as they moved closer to Baltimore, and then they put them back on that American sloop that they sailed out to find the British, but under guard. So, you know, you sometimes hear that Francis Scott Key was wrote it when he was being held prisoner by the British. He, he wasn't free to go, but he, he would be free to go.